Damaged or worn interior valve components can lead to failure. Depending on the issue, you may not need to cut out and replace the entire valve. Let's look at common issues that occur inside a valve and how to fix them. How old is the valve? When on a valve service call, it may be easier and quicker to replace everything inside the valve body. In fact, it's a common best practice to perform a component swap anytime you open an older valve. Take care when cleaning and reassembling aged valves. It's easy to misalign or damage the components creating new issues. Parts such as the diaphragm and solenoid do wear out over time. Replacing all the components with new ones will increase the longevity of a valve. Visual inspection of a valve body. If you suspect that an operational issue stems from a faulty interior component, turn off the water to the system. Make sure you have ample space to work on the valve without the infiltration of dirt and debris. Be prepared with a hand pump to pump out any water that may be present in the valve box. The first step is replacing the solenoid. Note the side where the solenoid sits so you can replace the new top with the correct orientation. If there are no isolation valves, be prepared to pump water out of the valve box, as water in the main line or lateral lines may flow out of the valve body into the valve box. Now, let's unscrew the top bolts and remove the top, the diaphragm, spring, and diaphragm support ring. Set them aside so they don't get mixed up with the new valve. Complete a visual inspection of the body for signs of damage, such as nicks or cracks. Check the solenoid seat for any imperfections that could prevent the diaphragm from fully sealing. If the valve body is intact and the pipe connection is still strong, replace the remaining parts from the new valve. Replace the valve components. Double check that you have the exact replacement for the existing valve. In this case, we're replacing a PGV-101G. Take off the top of the new valve by unscrewing the four bolts and carefully removing it, making sure to keep track of all parts. Note, make sure that no debris has fallen into the valve body before replacing with new components. A quick flush from the main line will push any debris into view. Once the top is removed, pull out the diaphragm support ring and place it in the existing valve. After inserting the support ring, Place the diaphragm on top of it. Ensure that the solenoid tab goes into the solenoid hole. Warning: Assembling the diaphragm in an incorrect orientation will cause the valve to fail, so make sure it's correctly aligned. Next, add the spring. Now, carefully line up the valve top and ensure the solenoid is in the correct location. The solenoid should be on the downstream side. Once the top is on, tighten down the bolts. Use a star pattern to ensure the valve seats evenly. It's important not to over-tighten them, so avoid using a power driver. You could crack the body, resulting in valve failure. You then need to cut out the whole valve and replace it with a new one. Finishing up. Now that the valve is reassembled, use waterproof wire connectors to wire the new solenoid. One lead connects to the hot or station wire, and the other lead connects to the common wire. The orientation of the wires does not matter. Note, trim the exposed conductors so that they are completely inside of the waterproof connectors. At this point, it's a good idea to flush the zone to pass any small debris that may have entered the valve, and run the zone both manually and electronically to ensure the system operates as expected. Replacing all valve parts aside from the body can be the best way to deal with operational issues especially in older valves. Just be sure to thoroughly inspect the valve body and the piping connections before deciding to complete the replacement of the valve internals. To learn more about our complete line of industry-leading valves for residential and commercial applications, visit HunterIndustries.com.